This isn't the video I want to make, but the video I have to make. My Mesobarbaros colony is not doing well. I'm sure now that they have fewer workers than when I got them around 11 months ago. This is not meant to be one of my normal light-hearted videos. This is more of a call for help, to be honest. I want this colony to grow into the hundreds, so please share this around with fellow ant keepers to help me take care of this colony. For most of their life, they've been fed exclusively on mealworms and honey, but I have recently introduced a new diet in which they have dubia roach parts one day, a cotton ball one centimetre in diameter soaked in sugar water the next, a mealworm the day after that, then honey, then the cycle starts over again. I feed none of the insects live. I do see a new clutch of about 15 eggs since I've started uh, this new diet. They've been on a 7 watt heat mat covering the entire ant home that they live in for all of the time they've been in it. I thought recently it might be too hot for them, so I uncovered some of the nest. I could not read the temperature with a thermometer for it, but the model number of the heat mat is SWLR0115 on Swell Reptiles, if any of you know how to calculate what temperature it does. Is it possible that they have grown tired of eating mealworms, as they have been having them for over a year now? I'll try them on some protein jelly soon. I give them seeds, which they do store, but they never make ant bread from them. The seeds do seem quite hard though, so please, please say what seeds your Mesobarbarus eat. I might get flightless flies as a third uh, feeder insect if necessary. Please, if you want to see this colony succeed, comment on how you feed a col colony of a similar size to this. I feel these occurrences aren't really highlighted enough on YouTube, so most ant keepers will only see the col colonies that did well, grew quickly, etc. I couldn't find a single video on YouTube talking about this sort of issue, so I'm going to be transparent with you. Around June, I bought a Campanotus nicobarensis queen which for a few months laid eggs, which hatched, and she would get to about two to three workers, then kill or eat them. I should have made a video then talking about it, and who knows, I might have had a nice big Campanotus nicobarensis colony by now. So I am making this video about the Mesobarbarus before something bad happens. As I have said before, please share this video around with as many people as possible and comment down what seeds you feed your Mesobarbarus. And if you think taking mealworms out of their diet for a while might help. All I want is, is to have a healthy Mesocolony, so please spare some of your time to help me.